ASICs, damn bit main. Screw anyone who decides to go ahead and purchase one of these new ASICs miners that covers almost every single algo you could ever think of, well, except for, you know, the ones that keep forking and preventing it from happening, you know, because there are those guys. However you look at it, I would have to say most miners are saltier than the gamers they bought the GPUs off of. Stick around. Welcome back. So essentially my inbox has been full of a whole bunch of hate towards Bitmain and ASICs in general and just a whole bunch of negative, negative, negative Nancy's all over the place today. And I want to remind everybody to stay cool. Everything's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and talk about the new Equihash Miner or ASICS Equihash Miner from Bitmain. You can see it up over here. I'm gonna give you guys the details. We're gonna talk a little bit about the two previous attempts to go ahead and create ASICS for other ASIC resistant algos. And then we're gonna talk about the possibilities of what's gonna to happen to this one based off pre of previous knowledge. So first off, the Antminer Z9 Mini, implying that there might be a a big daddy, a big daddy that's going to come in and be even better than this one. That's the rumors I'm hearing, but you know, we don't really know that. What we do know is that we have this Z9 Mini. It's going to run you about $2,000 more than that because hold on, you're going to have to have the $105 for the power supply and then you're going to need another $200 in shipping because yes, it's Bitmain. That's how that works. You're going to pay another $200 in shipping. So for a total package of about $2,300, you have what is effectively a 1080 Ti killer. A 1080 Ti is going to get you about, I don't know, a thousand souls, let's say. Well, this one right here will get you 10,000 solutions a second at, wait for it, 300 watts. So the tech's impressive. No matter who you're talking to here, you have to admit that the tech is very, very good. Whatever they've done with this way surpasses what they did with the Crypto Knight A6, way surpasses what they did with the ETH A6, and it's attacking some of the most favored coins for NVIDIA miners. And to be frank with you, if the algos stay the same and nobody forks, you can't beat this deal. You're talking about needing 10 1080 Ti's, which will run you about $10,000, and that's gonna be before grabbing yourself a motherboard, power supply, CPU, and memory. And it's just not gonna make sense. But never fear, because already I've been seeing reports of a whole bunch of devs putting together a team to talk about forking Equihash. So you have guys that are coming from Bitcoin Private, Bitcoin Z, both of which we, which we have pools up on equihash.sonofatech.com for if you want to check that out. You have Litecoin Z, you have Zencash, you have Zellcash. There's a lot of people coming together that are very smart that are going to figure this out. This is because they realize that the miners are going to be hurt here and they do care about you. They, Whether or not you think they do, they do because you support their network. So don't freak out just yet. I would probably relate this particular ASICs to the Kryptonite ASICs. And if you remember, the Kryptonite ASICs failed so hard that when it first launched, you know, it was up pretty high. A lot of people bought it, made some early money, and then Monero and everybody forked. Even the smaller coins joined in and forked like Sumo Coin. And the next couple weeks after that, you were seeing buy one, get four for free. So that is one of the options and I think that is what's going to happen in particular here. Now after that happened, Bitmain got, well, gun shy and they released the ET hash version of ASICS. And while it was a pretty decent deal uh, and it did outperform some of the GPUs, it wasn't any sort of game changing tech like something like this would be or even the Crypto Knight ASICS would be. It was more meh, okay, so the devs decided not to change anything. The, the curious part here is that because it is uh, pretty good and because the GPU market's so crazy, Bitmain was able to raise their initial launch price, which they did out of fear after the Crypto Knight version, from $800 all the way up to like $2,000. So if you want to go pick up that ET hash miner, you're going to be paying a pretty penny. 
it's still probably not worth it. You're not going to see a ton on the network. And I do realize a lot of people were still mad at Ethereum and Pearl and so on and so forth for not going ahead and forking. But I don't think Bitmain put them into a position to where they had to fork. This is a little different. I think if you look at this, you're going to see pretty much a complete change or shift like we saw in 2014, around 2014 when Bitmain first kind of launched their, their ASICs for Bitcoin and SHA-256 and you saw the GPU market die off for mining and everything flooded the, the used market with GPUs. I don't think we're going to see a mass exodus of GPU mining like that, even if not all of the Equihash coins fork, which I know they're working on. Who knows if they're going to be able to, but even if they don't, there's plenty of other coins and good projects that you're going to be able to check out with GPUs, including things like Raven. My favorite part about Crypto Night in particular is that when they forked, uh, they were able to keep around CPU mining, and I really enjoy being able to use all of the hardware I have. So I just thought a big shout out for that would be good. I was disappointed with Sumo Coin in that particular position because Crypto Night Heavy pretty much gimped the crap out of CPU mining and it makes it pretty much non-profitable at all, or at least you need to go with Monero. That being said, there were some other arguments that's probably, probably for another video. Yeah, we need to stop there. Come watch my live streams if you guys want to talk about my thoughts on that. My thoughts on this in particular, like I've already said, there are already devs working to go ahead and fork a majority of the Equihash coins that are out. It is probably already been on the network for quite some time. So if you're currently mining any of the Equihash coins, I wouldn't think your profitability is gonna change at all. The only thing you have to look forward to here is a fork that kicks all of them off, in which case everything will go up. Or you're gonna look at an increase in difficulty and an increase in cost of the coins you already obtain. Either way that works out, you're probably gonna be sitting okay for now. You have other coins that you can go into. Check out my video on how to mine Raven, and I hope that you guys can feel a little bit better about all this news coming out. Either way, that's a pretty killer machine though. That's impressive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.